Hey there, welcome to another lesson. Today we're going to dive into the A2P registration process. First things first, what the heck is A2P registration? It's the legal compliance set by lawmakers and phone carriers that businesses have to go through to send messages from an app to customers' phones. It produces multiple benefits such as reduced spam and better deliverability. I've prepared a slide deck to help you navigate this essential step in Go High Level. Head over to your High Level sub-account dashboard and navigate to Settings and then Business Profile. You will then need to fill out any business information that is empty in order to start the A2P registration. Now on to the registration. There are four options for sending text in high level, which include low volume mixed use campaign, standard campaign, toll free numbers, and third party integration. Low volume mixed use campaigns are the best choice for most businesses. Standard campaigns are for really large companies. A toll free number is a number you buy and you must register them to send a larger volume of messages. And lastly, third party integration is when you integrate another platform you already have. The next step is verification. Head over to the phone numbers tab in the settings and then trust center on the top menu. If you don't see this, it is because you do not have a lead connector, which can be changed in the phone integration menu in agency settings. Now in the trust center, you should see the A2P registration menu and click the start registering now button. It'll ask you a few basic questions, which you can answer. And then it'll ask if you want to use low volume standard or high volume standard. For most, you can just use the low volume standard, which gives you 6,000 segments per day and will cost you less than the high volume option. You can see the registration fees by visiting the high level help page under price and fees for the A2P registration. Choose your option and then click continue. Then it'll ask you for your campaign use case. As I said earlier, low volume mixed is the recommended choice for most businesses. For the case descriptions and sample messages, you can use the examples Go High Level provides and copy and paste them in or use your own. The sample messages should correlate with the description. So if you say you are going to send a reminder in the description, then the sample text should have a reminder in it. Also, at the bottom of the page, you will see two boxes that talk about the message, including an embedded link and phone number. If you check these, the link and or phone number needs to be put into the sample message. Next step is the user consent section, which is very important. For this step, you will need a contact form that has a checkbox for the terms and conditions, which should be properly linked so the contact may visit that page. If you already have this on your landing page, you can copy and paste that link into the first box that asks how the user consents. If not, you will need to create a contact form with a consent box for your landing page that links to the terms and conditions page of your website. Now are the opt-in keywords and opt-in message and templates are provided from high level. You can adjust these slightly if you want, but generally speaking, this is the copy you can use. The opt-in keywords do not need to be changed either. Lastly, you can click submit and where it says brand, it should say in progress to the right. This process of approval usually takes roughly 24, 48 hours with some exceptions the campaign can be done after the brand is approved. If you have any troubleshooting problems, you can go to the help pages or speak with US Kate to talk to the specialist for A2P registrations in Go High Level. And just like that, you're officially registered for A2P messaging. Whether you're sending notifications, updates, or just spreading digital cheer, you're now equipped with the power to reach your audience like never before. I hope this presentation has been useful. See you in the next lesson.